was summertime on the island of Sodor. The engines were very busy. The children were having a big fancy dress party and there were lots of jobs to do. Toby collected some sticky toffee to make toffee apples. And Thomas took the tables and chairs. When Thomas delivered the tables and chairs, he saw some children. They were making fancy dress costumes. That looks fun, tooted Thomas. Then the fat controller spoke to Thomas. I would like you to give train rides at the party, the fat controller said. Thomas was delighted. He loved giving the children train rides. Thomas puffed to the washdown. He was thinking about the children and their fancy dress costumes. I want to go to the party in fancy dress too, chuffed Thomas. Then I would really look my best. Thomas was soon covered in soapy suds. He was scrubbed and rubbed, rubbed and scrubbed. Then Percy arrived at the washdown. You look like a giant bubble, peeped Percy. That's it, puffed Thomas. I'll go to the party as a giant bubble. So Thomas puffed quickly away still covered in bubbles. He couldn't wait to show the children his fancy dress. The bubbles blew into his eyes. Thomas couldn't see where he was going and he bumped straight into the back of Toby. Sorry, puffed Thomas. Soon the fat controller arrived. Toby! You must go to the yard to be repaired, said the Fat Controller. If I don't take the sticky toffee to the party, the children won't be able to make toffee apples, moaned Toby. Please, sir, puffed Thomas. I could take the sticky toffee to the party. Very well, said the Fat Controller. But no more trying to be in fancy dress. Soon all the soapy bubbles were cleaned off Thomas and he puffed away. Thomas puffed along the old line. Trees hung over the track and the bushes were overgrown. But Thomas puffed carefully on. He knew he was late. So now he wasn't thinking about fancy dress. He was only thinking about getting to the party on time. Thomas bumped through the bushes and bashed through the branches. But he was still covered in sticky toffee. Leaves and twigs stuck to the sweet sticky goo. Must get to the party, must get to the party, Thomas puffed. When Thomas arrived at the party, he was covered from funnel to footplate in leaves and twigs. Everyone cheered when they saw him. But I'm too messy to give you train rides. You're not messy, you're just in fancy dress. You look best of all. Thomas was very happy. The party was a great success. And there was only one thing more popular than the Sticky Toffee Apples. And that was Sticky Toffee Thomas.